my god guys hey what's up it's fam jam here and i just finished watching the mandalorian and before we start spoilers all around i'm going to be probably explaining i guess the ending and probably what they're doing moving forward so i'm gonna give you guys probably about 10 seconds to get the hell out of here if you haven't watched it All right, um, hopefully people are still here. So basically, the ending of Mandalorian was probably, I would say, one of the best endings for either a movie, a TV show, or, or I'm not even that sure, it was the ending. It was the ending of that season. So basically, they ended it in such a good way. I feel like I'm so satisfied with what the ending was. And I had a bunch to look forward to. But, um, basically what happens is... Um, if you're not keeping up that... Well, actually, I'm not sure why you wouldn't be keeping up that, Lorraine, when I told all those people to get lost if they haven't kept up with it. But, basically, at the... Near the end of the, um, season, the child gets stolen again. Uh, Mando, Boba Fett... Yes, Boba Fett is still alive. You would know that if you read the Legends, or Star Wars Legends, but if you didn't, he's still alive. So that's a spoiler also. And, um, I forgot her name, Bo-Katano? She was, like, in the, um, pretty sure she was in Rebels. And she basically trying to reenact, trying to recreate the, um, Mandalorian, um, group. So what happens is, if you also haven't watched the first season, the Dark Saber is still a thing, and Body Mosquit has a has a hand of it, has his hand on it. Basically, um, they get the kid back from Mosquit, and they track him down. They come to a ship. They basically go through a killing spree of that. And then basically the Mandalorian and him have a little bit of a duel. He obviously wins, and he gets the dark saber. Bo-Katano's there because all she wants is the dark saber. She doesn't care too much about the kid. Um, obviously there is other people there with the Mandalorian that's on his side that do care about the kid, so they're there. Then um, I'm not even sure why. Um, Boba Fett there, maybe he owes him a favor and he's gonna help him out. But anyway, um, they all get there, and basically they're cornered into a, they ba they're backed into a corner in the sense that there are all these high-powered droids that are coming at them that can very easily kill them, I think, if they're in large groups. And they are trapped in one door and all of them are approaching them, so... They're kind of backed into a corner. Now, there was mention of Jedi, and Ahsoka Tana was in the series, so she was there. So, basically what happens is, while they're backed into a corner, they um notice that there is a rogue ship boarding them. And when they ask them to identify themselves, they just choose not to, so... I guess that surprise, that that helps the surprise, but basically a Jedi actually comes out of the ship. Now, I thought maybe it was a Sokotano, but then I saw that they had a green lightsaber. And I know a Sokotano has the white lightsaber with, and she usually dual wields the lightsabers. So I did not think it was her, and I couldn't think of anybody else, truthfully. Because nobody else, no other Jedi's were mentioned before this, besides the Sokotano, or at least, at least the ones that we've seen. So, I had no idea what was going on. Next thing you know, he is literally, whoever the Jedi is, they are literally just tearing apart these droids, one by one. 
And when he reaches the door where they are being held up, the Mandalorian asks them to open up the door and meet this person. And this was the most probably one of the most shocking reveals. There are many shocking reveals at the ending. That's why it was so freaking good. That it was Luke Skywalker himself. Now the Mandalorian takes place right after everything after the um. Return of the Jedi movie. So, Luke Skywalker has been obviously alive and he's been working his way around. Obviously, he's been alive because he stars in the um, new sequel trilogy. So, that's that. And we find out that he ends up raising the child that is Force sensitive. So, I guess this was part of his idea of building a new order. Or building a new order of Jedi. So, in a heart-wrenching scene, Mando hands over the child to him, and he accepts that. He kind of sheds the cheer, it's kind of sad. But, he does that, and he promises to see the child again. So, maybe there's hope that there will be more seasons of Mandalorian. So, basically, that happens. And, everybody kind of goes off on their way. Now, Boba Fett, actually, like, is probably the biggest um, mystery of the series by the end of it. Because Boba Fett's still alive, you know, obviously, he got eaten by the, um, Starlack pit guy, or monster. So, basically, uh, everybody assumes that he's dead, nobody really knows that he was still alive. So, when that happens, he gives up the child, but Boba Fett chooses to return to, I, I would assume it was Jabba's palace, and whoever is Jabba's son, I don't know. Some member man is now taking control of Jabba's palace because Jabba's obviously dead. So basically, that happens, and then he returns back to his um to his to Jabba's palace, not only to take control of it, kill everybody in it, and sit on the throne. So I think like I'm not sure if that was symbolized like him becoming the new Le the new um, gang leader because Java was a like type of gang, and he's going to form his own party and he's going to with a bunch of people that he trusts. So that is interesting. But more interesting is that I'm pretty sure they're going to take a break from following the Mandalorian story, and they're going to now follow what Boba Fett's going to be doing after he's taken control of this new gang and what he's going to be doing from there which i think will be interesting but it's still like also kind of um it's disappointing in the sense that i kind of want to still follow mandalorian's story so i don't know about that but that's pretty much it it was probably the most shocking episode of the um, season, I know, like, the at the end of the first season, at least, they've basically revealed that Gideon had possession of the Darksaber, and that was a pretty big reveal, but compared to this reveal, I think it's, like, very, very different this time, because I feel like there was definitely multiple reveals, multiple shocking reveals that were taking place, and I would say that, um, For this, I would say that this probably been one of the best episodes of The Mandalorian. And I cannot wait for to see what they do with the series. I cannot wait to see what the Boba Fett series has to offer. All that. And I am literally just like fanboying right now. Something about it, it's like, I just can't get, I can't stop smiling. This, that was such a cool ending. I enjoyed it so much. 
So basically, that's what happened at the end of Mandalorian. So, or Mandalorian season two. I'm not sure if they're going to continue or not. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys um really like enjoyed it. Hope you guys that did not watch the War Mandalorian got the hell out of here. Because I I feel bad spoiling stuff, but at the same time, this was a little bit too crazy not to talk about. So. With all that, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.